welcome back to my channel oh my god you guys i am so overwhelmed with the love thank you so much for all the views all the subscribers so much love for you guys mwah, mwah, mwah. so today we are going to be talking about cycles 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 everybody deals with cycles i want to start from that you know i think one of the reasons why this is not something people usually talk about is the shame that goes with it everybody deals with cycles at a point in their lives and if we were more transparent we would talk about these things so you're not alone if you're dealing with cycles you're not alone people have dealt with them i've dealt with them and we experience freedom so we can have different types of cycles it could be depression it could be masturbation or pornography or fornication all kinds of cycles some just emotional in my church somebody says salamander <laughs> but basically what that means is you just like a bit emotionally hooked to somebody you just want to be attached attached you're like a magnet looking for metal or something I don't know today I'm talking more on the kind of cycles that your body enjoys or your mind because I don't think anybody enjoys being depressed or angry it's so that person is most likely wanting to get rid of it but a person dealing with that pornography masturbation or in those lines you get what I mean that person may have a hard time breaking from that cycle because their body enjoys it but that doesn't make it correct so the first point is you need to make a decision you know the bible tells us in romans 12 verse 1 that we need to make a decisive dedication of our bodies i love how the amplified bible puts it it says present all your members and faculties so you make the decision you make a decisive dedication and i love how it uses decisive because that's your mind you know i've made certain prayers when i was younger i'll be like oh holy spirit you know um make up my mind for me that's ridiculous that's me running away from the responsibility to make up my mind i want to put it on god so that if i don't decide i can say god didn't make the decision God gave us a will. So when we say make a decisive dedication of your body, it is your mind deciding to dedicate the whole of your body to God. And talking on decision, decisions are highly influenced by information. So what are you feeding your mind with? I encourage you, if you're dealing with cycles, to start feeding on the word in the line of your struggle. If you're dealing with lust, for example, pick scriptures and keep feeding on them. You're going to inform your mind. Very soon, you're going to be like, this thing, it ain't right. Because you're no longer conforming to the world. But if you do more of watching series with sexual scenes in them, spending so much time looking at the world, you'll think it's okay. Because that's what the word says. We all have weaknesses. We all. What, what do they say? I'm a human being. Man is not made of wood. All those little phrases. But if you keep spending time in the word, it informs your mind and you tell yourself, my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Then you decide. So that's number one. Make a decisive dedication. Number two, talk to somebody. Be accountable. You know, one of the problems our generation has is we want to appear so perfect, so put together. We're afraid of judgment. That is pride. <laughs> You're afraid of being judged for something you're doing? That is so much pride going on. That's something my spiritual mom says. The power of sin is secrecy. And I think you bear witness with me. It is so true. When you keep something you're struggling with a secret, it just amplifies. Expose that thing. And it's scriptural. The Bible says in James 5 verse 16 that we confess our sins one to another. I want you to realize that the apostle there was talking to the church. He was talking to church members, he was talking to Christians. So yes, even Christians do deal with certain things sometimes. Talk to somebody. Talk to your pastor. Talk to a brother, a sister who is ahead of you. Someone who won't, um, what's the word? Condone what you're doing. I've been that person. I'm dealing with someone. So I want to talk to a friend who would be like, both of us would be like, oh, 
yeah, we're really dealing with this. Mm. One day, you know, I don't know. Like, that just... Talk to someone that will put you in check. So start with your pastor. And if you're thinking right now, I can't talk to my pastor. I don't know. You're afraid, for example, you could be in the choir or an usher. So you're like, they're going to see me differently. This is the pride I'm talking about. Are you struggling with that thing? Yes. Why do you want to appear like you're not struggling with it? No, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say go and broadcast it, put it on your Instagram. Y'all, I'm struggling with masturbation. That's not what I'm saying. But you should be able to break away from that pride of not going to your pastor or somebody you can be spiritually accountable to. The Bible says, confess your sins one to another. If you do mess up, talk to somebody that can hold you accountable. Don't be proud. Remember this again. The power of sin, or in this case, cycles, is secrecy. If you keep it a secret, it's going to keep going on. Finally, finally, finally. This is my favorite point, actually. What you focus on, you become. You know, from experience, the reason why certain people stay in cycles for so long is they idolize the cycle. It now becomes your idol. Each time you're praying, you'll be praying about it. You're going to fast for it. A three days dry fast, you know, Shanda. You're not going to be uh, eating no food. But your focus is your cycle, cycle, like it's everywhere. So, in as much as you're trying to break from it, all you keep doing is looking at it. It's pasted on your wall. I need to break free from this thing. It's in every journal. It's in every prayer point. You're still focusing on the cycle. The Bible encourages us to focus on Jesus. Don't focus so much on what you're doing wrong. Focus on who is right, and that's Jesus. I believe that the more you look at him, when you behold him, you will become him. So, in as much as you've applied the first two, which is to decide, secondly, be accountable, now begin to focus on the Lord. Spend so much time just in worship, worship before the Lord. Spend so much time, uh, you know, meditating on scripture. Be in youth groups, go for evangelism. Just focus on Christ. Put it in a way that Christ is your focus. Certain people have stayed in, in cycles because they idolize the cycle. The first time we begin to pray, they're just like, Lord, take this thing from me. And I know I've been there. You've cried. You have cried over that thing. But you're focused on that thing way too much. So you're going in the direction of your focus. So focus on Jesus, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. When we look at him, we become just like him. So guys, that's all I have to share for today. I don't want to make it too long. I believe you have heard on cycles before but i just thought let me encourage you once again if you are dealing with a cycle do apply point one two and three and i believe with all my heart that you will break free from every cycle you're dealing with in jesus name all right guys thank you so much for watching if you're new here do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you are notified each time i post a new video i'd love you to just leave your thoughts on this topic i think it affects each of us so leave your thoughts let me know what you think about it share your testimony yes let's get talking <laughs>